Ever pondered about the key differences between MT-103 and MT-202? Well, let's start by understanding SWIFT payment messages. These are standardized messages used by banks and other financial institutions worldwide to communicate securely. MT-103 and MT-202 are two such message types, playing a crucial role in international funds transfers. MT-103 is a customer credit transfer message, typically used for direct one-off payments from one account to another. Think of it as the tool that facilitates direct payments between two parties, like supplier payments or salary transfers. On the other hand, MT-202 is a financial institution transfer message used for bank-to-bank -bank transfers. This comes into play when there is no direct relation between the sender and receiver banks and intermediary banks are involved. So, in essence, MT-103 and MT-202 are both SWIFT message types used for international funds transfers, but they serve different purposes and are used at different stages of the payment process. Now, let's unfold the characteristics of the MT-103 message. MT-103 as a SWIFT message type is specifically a customer credit transfer message. It's used for making a single one-off payment from one account to another. This is your go-to message type when you're dealing with direct payments between two parties. Think supplier payments, salary transfers or customer to customer transfers. The content of an MT-103 message is comprehensive, providing a complete record of the payment transaction. It includes detailed information about the sender, receiver, beneficiary, payment amount, currency, and any additional payment instructions. In terms of usage, MT-103 messages are typically used when funds are being transferred directly from the sender's account to the beneficiary's account. There are no intermediary banks involved. It's often used for low-value, high-volume payments. In a nutshell, MT-103 messages are typically used when funds are being transferred directly from the sender's account to the beneficiary's account without any intermediary banks involved. Moving on, let's break down the MT-202 message. The MT-202 is a financial institution transfer message specifically designed for bank-to-bank -bank transfers. It's the go-to when there is no direct relationship between the sender and receiver banks. Now you might be wondering, what does an MT-202 message contain? It carries information about the sending and receiving intermediary banks, the correspondent banks involved, the transaction amount, and any relevant payment details. Essentially, it's the instruction manual for moving funds between banks. But when do we use MT-202 messages? They are typically used when one or more intermediary banks are involved in processing a payment. These banks act as the middlemen, facilitating the transfer of funds by routing the payment through correspondent accounts. So, MT-202 messages come into play when there are one or more intermediary banks involved in processing a payment. Now that we understand MT-103 and MT-202 separately, what sets them apart? Well, MT-103 is a customer credit transfer message used for direct payments between two parties. In contrast, MT-202 is a financial institution transfer message used for bank-to-bank -bank transfers, specifically for intermediary banks. The sender and receiver in an MT-103 transaction are typically the parties directly involved in the payment, while in an MT-202 transaction, the sender is usually the originating bank and the receiver is an intermediary bank. Furthermore, the level of detail in MT-103 messages is quite high, providing complete information about the payment transaction, while MT-202 messages focus more on the movement of funds between banks and may not contain beneficiary information.
In summary, MT1.03 messages are used for direct customer payments, while MT2.02 messages are used for bank-to-bank -bank transfers involving intermediary banks. Grasping the differences between these message types is crucial for efficiently processing international payments and managing correspondent banking relationships. Now, if you found this information valuable, do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content like this.